want you to know that I understand how you feel but I also understand that our children desperately need us to accept them as they are now for some of you the journey has just begun we've only just begun to live what lays in promises oh, sorry I got carried away there. <laughs> yeah, so your journey has just begun. And you may be feeling a little confused and grieving because your expectations weren't met. I think that autistic self-advocate Jim Sinclair said it best when he said, "You didn't lose a child to autism. You lost a child because the child you waited for never came into existence." That isn't the fault of the autistic child who does exist and it shouldn't be our burden. We need and deserve families who can see us and accept us as we are. Not families whose vision of us is obscured by the ghosts of children who never lived. Grieve if you must for your own lost dreams, but don't mourn for us. We are alive. We are real. Jim Sinclair, don't mourn for us. From the book Our Voice, uh, Volume One, Number Three, Nineteen Ninety-Three. <laughs> And as my world-famous Auntie Hazel used to say, "Sunshine, God's time, God's will, our choice." I'll see you in the next episode.